Hi videos and curls, welcome back. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in. Today's video is going to be my current favorites. I do monthly favorites, but I did want to come with some that I have been loving over and over again. And if you can tell by the title, I am loving both hair care, makeup, skin care. So I want to just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about are some skincare items. I have been loving this Olive Ole Hendrickson Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I did have this in my nighttime routine. This is really great with removing all the dirt and the makeup off of your skin. Now, Asian skincare has been doing this for years. We call it dual cleanse, they call it double cleanse or pre-cleanse. And this is really good for the pre-step, the step before you actually go in and cleanse the skin. So it's a three-in-one, it's a cleansing gel. I love it because you can actually see the dirt coming off and it's great with waterproof makeup. It's like a no fuss where it's no tugging on the skin. So I really do enjoy this. And yeah, check out the nighttime routine if you wanna figure out how to use this. I did include kind of like a demo. I have been going back to my purity. You see how big this is? This is the 32 ounce of the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. This is not only a, this is like a dual cleanse. So if you don't have time, if you're a glam mom, if you are a student, if you are on the go all the time, this is great to remove makeup and cleanse your skin. The first time that I use this, I do dampen my hands and then I pump one pump of this and I go in and remove the makeup, rinse it off, and then I can go back in. This is a great cleanser that does not strip the skin. It's really, really good and you can tell that I really do love this. Um, you can get this on sale. It cut goals on sale quite a bit. I never pay full price for it pretty much anything to be honest with you but this purity made simple I do not get full price I definitely want to get it on sale so I love that cleanser Let's go into some oils I do really enjoy face oils this Tarte Maracuja now this is the deluxe size but I do have the full size this is so good this is great even as a serum sometimes people use serum some people use oils you can use both but this is really really good especially if you are on the drier side maracuja oil is great and also my girl cj of beauty essentials talked about this for oily skin and she actually uses this at night and she said that this really changed her skin so I would think that it's for all skin types. I highly recommend you just going out and giving it a shot. And yeah, I think I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag and I just really, really enjoyed it. I've fallen back in love with it. And so yeah, I love this it. was in my March favorites, but I have really been enjoying this. And this has quickly become one of my favorite leave-in conditioners that's super duper light. I can use this both with my curly and my straight hair. This is the Cream of Nature argan oil with morocco strength and shine leave-in conditioner i really do like this now i would not like spray it in my hair the way that my hair is right now this is blow dried hair but i really do enjoy this with spraying it after i've washed my hair and putting this in my hair right before i blow dry you want something in your hair super duper light it does have an oil in here so it does that and it is also a heat protector so i really do enjoy this i only pay like six bucks for this so this is a really great it's one of my favorites and i am loving this currently you see how much I've used and I just got it. So I really do enjoy the Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I know I've talked about this. I am going to try the other one. I want to say that one is the Cocoa Butter and Coconut or something like that. But this is the Whole Blends Replenishing Leave-In Conditioner. This is the Legendary Olive. I do have a review on this. If you want to check out the full review and demo, I do have this. I will list it in the i cards over here and you can check it out but this is the whole blends legendary olive intensely nourishes and softens 
this is a leave-in conditioner so this would be great for my fine thin hair gals that um, have a low density hair you don't want something that's going to weigh your hair down but you still want some hydration because you know how that struggle is but i really do enjoy this you do get 10.2 ounces of product uh, that is phenomenal for under six dollars i really do love this and i love the spout it's mess proof so really do enjoy Finally, that i talked about this in my march favorites this is my spray bottle i have um i was on the brink of clearing out a really great glycerin free conditioner and i couldn't get everything out so i poured some water in it shook it up put it is it shook it up it shook it up right so i have been loving what's in the bottle and the spray bottle itself this has a really great mist which you want to get a spray bottle just don't get any spray bottle get a spray bottle with a great mist i'm telling you it will make a difference in the hydration of your hair just because you will be evenly distributing the product and you can actually <laughs> i didn't do that right it can strain so that's something oh what did I do? Anyway, you want one with a great nozzle, but I have been loving this as a DIY leave-in conditioner. I made my own non-glycerin leave-in conditioner because it's just gonna poof my hair up. I just know how it, what, what's gonna happen. So I really do enjoy this and it's a DIY. Take your favorite conditioner, add some water, bada bing, bada boom, put it in your spray bottle let's move on to makeup my girl Steph uh, Steph's Beauty 05 talked about this and this is the Ofra uh, highlighter in the shade it's not a shade but the name is Beverly Hills I really do enjoy this I actually want to pop some of this I'm gonna use my finger let me show you how no I'm not. see that everybody was talking about my glow in my March favorites video and part of it was this highlighter this highlighter oh my goodness okay you first of all see that it is every shade under the spectrum this is amazing if you are a person you're a minimalist and you only want one highlighter that's gonna give you the bling you can settle a highlighter down like this some people are like, you know, beaming from the moon. If you want to soften it, just take your beauty blender and have it damp and you will get the job done. But this you will love because this actually has the pink, it has the salmon, it has the gold tone, it has the white, and it has the true gold in there. The champagne, the true gold. It's like a color wheel of highlights, okay? This is amazing. Let me show y'all the color pay payoff. I'm just going to do them separate right now and then you can always swerve them I love that the wheel is large enough for you to get your brush in there without blending with another one if you just wanted a certain one but look at that that is like five highlighters and one plus if you swerved it all around you would get a sixth so I really do love that it's every shade on the spectrum if you're a minimalist and you like to glow or you are just starting off your collection and you need one highlight like when I saw this I was like whoa this has like gone from zero up to like the top five of my favorite highlighters so I really really enjoyed this you can tell the difference when you wear it and it does not I mean look at that oh my god just makes you want to do this you know a highlighter is good when you want a bobble you just want a bobble because you're going to see the highlight you want to see yourself reflect you know what i'm saying so i really do enjoy beverly hills by ofra this is another one this is my balance and bright now i've talked about this before but this is laura geller this is the only so far this is the only powder foundation that gives me radiance i never thought that a powder could give a person a radiance ever but this is what i use by itself in my march favorites everybody was talking about my glow i use this and i use the ofra beverly hills okay these were the only two products on my face besides like concealing everything but i had not going gone in with another foundation or whatever this gave me so much radiance and I didn't know that you could get radiance with buffing and a powder like I thought powder would look like powder you know what I mean so 
I know that this is well first of all it's baked but this is blended it blends in your skin so well the only thing I don't like and one of um, one of the gals on the that video talked about it and that was that they don't have enough shades Laura Geller hear me when I say this get some more shades especially for the deep tone girls you know a lot of us we don't we like to go glam but some of us when we don't have time and this is like glam on the go i love this you just buff it into your skin you still have a radiance i absolutely love it it's not the foundation i'm wearing today i'm wearing um makeup forever uh hd i am project panning that one but i oh that's a whole nother thing this is a current favorites. Let me pull that out. Like I said, this is the Makeup Forever HD. I really do love this. I love the Ultra HD. I'm so glad I have a backup of this. But th I am in the shade um, 153. I love, love, love this. And this is the equivalent before. But I really do enjoy this. I've fallen back in love. A lot of these products are products that I'm falling back in love with it. it you know so I can actually give you a great review on it but make it forever I love you forever Laura Mercier I thought I would never you know at first when I tried this I did not like it because I was like whoa it's way too dry but now that I know what to do I love this powder what I do is actually take my brush and I don't use a beauty blender I do not bake with this this is not a product you could bake with RCMA I could bake with that but I'm not really into baking anyway I just want to set my under eye and make sure that it's bright yes I have been loving this and I'm so glad that I know how to use it now because you know this is one of the products that is just so talked about on YouTube and you're like I really want to like it I really want to like it I did not like it at first but now that I know how to use it I love it this is probably the most used palette on my channel and not on purpose it's just like something that I grab for and this is the Carly by Bell now this is her regular palette palette she does have a um, deluxe palette that will probably be out before this video goes up but this is the 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette let me show you the inside I absolutely love this I do have a review demo and swatches of this one but she's gonna have the deluxe if you want something affordable and really good I would say skip L'Oreal palettes I'm just gonna be honest skip like the palettes at the drugstore and get this because this is gonna be universal for you not get this one but you get the deluxe one because I think she has more shadows in that one and she's gonna have more highlighters I cannot wait for the deluxe I will be there for it yes and I have met Carly and she's one of the sweetest people ever to me seriously and I really do love this. these are my can you guess these are my benefit blushes you know blushes benefit blushes are really really good. I know we talk about Tarte blushes we talk about Mac blushes these are some really great blushes I have been loving sugar balm do y'all see it's a dent in there but these are phenomenal Rocketeer 2 and um, what is that I don't even know if they make that one um, Bella Bama oh my goodness and this is my hula this is the perfect palette for me just to like go and if I needed to just have some great shades it it just covers everything this one's a nice sheen this one is dandelion I didn't even know I had dandelion y'all and I was about to go get it this is why you look at your collection before you do anything but I really do love these blushes I just want to make sure that I'm covering everything okay oh. so a couple of products that I have been loving currently I talked about my butter glosses so I'm not going to talk about that again but I am going to talk about these two now this is a OG I think I've gone through one of these already this is in the shade Rikugan this is a satin lip pencil by NARS now this is the deluxe size I you can't move it up you actually have to sharpen this and I really really do love this shade let me just swatch it for you guys it is so so beautiful this is a beautiful nude that anyone could wear I feel like and it's that movie tone I really do enjoy it love this it says a satin but it does give a nice gloss to the lip and I really do enjoy that another one is the wet n wild velvet matte lip color now this 
I actually mixed today. Such a beautiful color for spring. This reminds me immediately, like this color in itself, it makes me want to pull out my Peach Palette by Too Faced. I just love that shade. And it's a, it's a comfortable matte. If you are not into liquid lipsticks and you want to go for a matte lip, try these out. I really do like it. It says Fergie, but you know, there's no longer the Fergie collection. You can definitely just pick this up in the Wet n Wild section. This is in the shade Cream Sickle Kitty. I really do enjoy so that. This is an OG. I talked about this last year and I'm almost, I think I'm almost done with this, but this will definitely be a repurchase for me. This is the lip gloss. This is a really good formula, by the way. This is in the shade Nooner. This is the Urban Decay lip gloss, the ultra nourishing gloss. That's what it's called. I really do enjoy these. The packaging is so pretty. Anything rose gold, I'm there for it. I really do enjoy this. I love it. Those are my current favorites, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. I'll see beautiful you in the next video.